Hey guys, it's Wee Viver. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Oculus Quest. You can play this game in virtual reality with a first person mode, 3D stereoscopic view and even 360 degrees of head tracking. Yes, it is possible. It's far from perfect though and it's not for everyone, especially not for virtual reality beginners as you need to have some strong VR legs to not get motion sick. Some people may even think this is a completely retarded idea and I could partially agree, but hey, I gave it some time, I did my own tweaking and yes, it works indeed, well, to a certain degree at least. And that's why I wanted to share this with you today, but please watch the whole video to really understand how to get this running if you would like to try it for yourself. Before we start off, make sure to subscribe and also let's give a huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Well, yes, you can run Zelda Breath of the Wild in VR on the Oculus Quest with an emulated side-by-side -side 3D view giving you a depth in the game and the whole game is played in a first-person mode. Now also add some real head tracking that lets you look around in any direction as well as up and down. You can sit down while playing and you can of course stand up if you want and you need a gamepad for the interaction of course. It does not give you full room scale 6 degree of freedom but at least it feels like being in VR. Now before I show you how it's done, I need to let you know a few things about this method to run the Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Oculus Quest. It's really far from perfect. I would suggest you consider this as a proof of concept or simply an experiment until we have a more proper way to run it. Also, I won't go into every single detail here in this video. If you have seen my previous video about playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on the PC VR headsets with the CMU emulator and also my latest video about Moonlight player for Oculus Quest, then you will understand the rest. If you haven't seen these videos yet, you really should, otherwise you won't understand how it's all put together. Anyway, here are some additional things you need to know. First, this is so far only possible using a first person mode in Zelda. The third person mode would not allow you to do the head tracking. And sure, it works in the first person mode and you can run around in the woods and do most likely everything in the game just as usual, even if it is harder to doing it in the first person mode. The aiming, the attacking and the general interaction is a bit tricky from start, but once you get hold of this, it's actually pretty easy easy to manage. Secondly, the head tracking is real 360 degrees and you can look in any direction, but this is made thanks to an Android smartphone and its gyroscope communicating with the CMU emulator that runs the Zelda game. So you will need an Android smartphone that has a gyroscope and iPhones are not supported. Also, you need to attach your smartphone on the top of your Oculus Quest to get the head tracking triggered by your head motions, of course. Easiest way is to actually attach it with some tape. I know it looks really bad, but it works. And of course, it will add some weight to your Oculus Quest, but that's another story and hopefully you can live with that. Next, you also need a powerful PC, especially a powerful CPU or processor, because the CMU emulator of Nintendo games runs mostly off this CPU. I'm using an i9-9900K processor with 8 cores at 5GHz and I have still some dropped frames at many areas in the game, especially because we need to run this game in a side-by-side -side mode thanks to reshade, so at least an i7 processor is recommended here. And that leads us also to the next problem, dropped frames will cause some stutters or judders in the VR image, which is not that obvious if you just run and look forward, but once you start to look around you a lot and turn your head quickly, you will see it and feel it. And if you are sensitive to this, you might even get motion sick, so be aware. And I would personally strongly not recommend doing this if you are completely new into VR. Another problem is that we are of course running this wirelessly on the Oculus Quest over Wi-Fi connection, which means there will be some added latency to everything. Not by much, and it's completely acceptable, as we are actually using a software with a very low latency and it's better than you might think, but it's still not perfect of course. And the latency and minimal lag could also make you motion sick in worst case scenario. Also, this is only possible by using a PC with an Nvidia GeForce graphic card because the application Moonlight that you will need to install on your Oculus Quest is streaming the image directly from the Nvidia GeForce Experience game stream 
and the game stream feature is not supported by the AMD graphic cards. So now let's get started. Begin by watching my previous video about how to set up CMU emulator and the Zelda Breath of the Wild on your PC. This video will show you all the details step by step and also refer you to some full tutorial made by the BSOD Gaming that has some great tutorials on how to install and optimize CMU emulator in the first place. Once you have followed all the steps in the videos and Zelda Breath of the Wild is ready and running in 3D side by side mode on your PC, you need to add the VR aspect ratio mod for the CMU emulator and the Zelda game. Simply download it from the link in the video description here and copy the content to the folder graphics pack inside of your CMU installation directory as shown here. Next, you will need to download and install the Moonlight application for the Oculus Quest. Check my link in the video description again and watch the whole step-by-step -step video called How to play all PC games on your Oculus Quest. Now also watch the video Free Oculus Quest Virtual Desktop and just follow all the steps until you have the Moonlight running on your Oculus Quest and you can see and control your PC desktop inside of your Oculus Quest VR headset. So I think we're ready now. Bring up your Android smartphone and make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi and the same network as your Oculus Quest and your computer. We need to download one software to your smartphone first. You can either download it manually or by scanning my QR code here to download it directly. If you want to do it manually, go to the internet browser on your phone and go to this website. I will give you a link in the video description of course. Scroll down and download the motion source 1.1.2 APK file. Make sure to have unknown sources enabled on your Android smartphone to allow the phone to install such files. Once it's downloaded, just install the app and start it up. As you can see, you will see the IP address of your device. Click on that row and select it. Do not change the port number in the upper right corner by the way. Now set the orientation of your smartphone to the second option, just laying down, and set the sensor mode to best and fastest as I'm showing you here. Next, just click here to start the server by clicking on the switch and now go back to your PC, browse to your CMU emulator installation folder and look for the file called cmuhook.ini. Open up the file with any text editor and add these lines that I just showing you and I will add them in the video description of course. Now change the IP address in the last line to the same that you had in your motion source application. And then save the file and close it. Now start up the CMU emulator, go to options, then gamepad motion source and check so it looks something like this and this means that the motion source is detected. Now attach your smartphone like I'm doing for example to your Oculus Quest. Just tape it around in some way and let it rest on the top of your Oculus Quest. Try to set it so it's horizontally aligned straight to the Oculus headset as well. When that's done you can of course lock the screen of your smartphone and just have it dark. Next, put your Oculus Quest on the desk like this and do not move it at all for now. And now start up Zelda Breath of the Wild on your PC. Once the game is started with the side-by-side -side 3D mode running, load up any save point so you jump straight into the game. Do not go full screen yet. Instead, go into the options, then graphic packs, and then the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, then into mods, and then enable the VR aspect ratio pack we just installed. This will correct the aspect ratio of the game for the VR mode. Also preferably run the game in at least a 1080p resolution to get a great image quality in game and you can change the resolution here. Now close the graphic pack window and set the game into full screen mode and remember if you change the resolution make sure to restart the, the CMU emulator and then switch on the full screen mode when the game is started. If you have followed all the steps correctly, any movement of your Oculus Quest with the smartphone on top will trigger head movement in the game. The game is basically now ready to be played but we also need to get the image streamed to your Oculus Quest headset of course. Now start up the Moonlight application on your Oculus Quest which is located in your library under Unknown Sources tab. Log into your PC inside of that app and open up the virtual desktop view in the void mode which means just a desktop image and a black background around you. As I said before if you have seen my last video you know how to get this running. 
go to the settings tab of the app and change the aspect ratio to 4-3. Do not use the 16-9 aspect ratio as it will be too wide for this game. Now go to the next tab and adjust the size of the desktop view so it's almost covering your view. Well, almost at least. You want to still be able to see most of your heads up display and some of the information when you go into the menus and the map for example. If you make it too big, you won't be able to see that. Next, turn on the 3D side-by-side -side mode in the settings menu of the Moonlight application. Now you should be able to see the game in your VR view in 3D. But the problem is that you're not stuck to the screen right now, so when you're moving your head around, the game image is not following you and this is not how it's supposed to be. So here is the final step to fix that. In the Moonlight application, enable the trackpad mouse mode. This is very, very important. This will not show the settings menu tabs at all anymore, but that's the purpose also because we don't want to have this to be shown. Next, click on this tab, choose void and wait until you see the game image again. Now the settings menu is gone and you cannot even bring it up again unless you restart the application, but that's good. Next, look up or down beyond the screen and then press the trigger button on your Oculus Quest controller and hold it. This will make the image fixed and centered to your view, no matter how much you move your head. Keep pressing the trigger now, and meanwhile take off your headset, now put some tape over the trigger button to keep it pressed in all the time, and once you're done, just place the controller somewhere, because you don't need it anymore now. Lastly, put on your headset again, grab your Oculus Quest headset, and you will see the head movements are working and the image is stuck in your view just as it's supposed to be. This gives you a VR feeling of course, with full head tracking, and it's basically like playing this game in VR. And sometimes you may need to adjust your view with the right thumbstick of the gamepad. You can use the thumbstick to reposition your head view at any time in game, in case the head tracking gets a little off while in action, and it could happen. So basically, that's it. Now you can run Zelda Breath of the Wild on your Oculus Quest in VR. Now try this if you think it looks interesting and let me know what you think about it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more geeky VR videos, make sure to subscribe and please hit that like button and that bell button of course if you want to get notified about my upcoming videos. And a big thanks to all my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Cheers guys!